Hi, I'm Steve Irwin, an application engineer supporting the Stratasys line of printers that we sell here at Go Engineer. Today I wanted to show you a diagnostic that you can use to understand why there is no power to your printer. There are two primary reasons for not having power to your printer. This is part two of a two-part series. The second issue can occur when there has been a spike in power at your facility and the line filter on the printer has been affected. All dimension printers, 768 BSTs or SST, and Elite 1200 1200ES BST or SST exhibit this issue, as well as the Fortis 250MC. I will illustrate the steps needed to check. Safety should always be our first priority. When we start to work on the printers we should always turn off the breaker and the switch on the front and unplug the printer. I will be showing these steps on the Fortis 250MC printer, but they can be accomplished on any of the printers illustrated in the previous slide. The first thing to do is turn the printer around and locate the five screws on the back side of the printer. These screws should be loosened and not removed. This holds on a panel that can be lifted off and removed. After the screws have been loosened, the back panel can be lifted up in the direction of the arrow and set aside revealing the interior of the printer. The line filter is where the plug plugs in to the back of the printer. You won't normally be able to see any damage from the outside, so that will have to be removed and flipped over to see where the damage exists. There are three screws to remove to turn around the line filter so that it can be inspected. After the line filter has been flipped over, you can inspect the PC board in the line filter case for burn marks. In fact, I've even seen a couple of components blown off of the board. If you see damage, that's when you need to call in the Stratasys team here at Go Engineer to have that part replaced. Next, we will be looking at the U-Print and see how that process is done. It's very close to the same process as the dimension printers we've looked at. All U-print models follow the exact same procedure. The first thing to do would be to turn the unit around so that we can start removing screws. There are three screws that need to be removed initially. After the screws have been removed, the tubes at the top of the fitting need to be pulled away to snip the material inside of the line. After the tubes have been extracted from the fitting, this will expose the material that can be snipped. After snipping the material, that will allow us to be able to open the door that's on hinges to access the line filter. After opening the back door of the printer, you will be able to locate the line filter in the upper left hand corner of the door. You can now inspect the line filter for damage. If you see damage, you can call the Stratasys RP team at Go Engineer and ask them to order you a replacement part. This has been Steve Irwin with Go Engineer. Thank you for watching this video on diagnosing no power to your printer. Part 2.